The blockchain space holds unprecedented opportunity to get in early on a new technology, or there's a gold rush to create new applications that have never been seen before that could easily make a million dollars or more and could even become the next Web 3.0 giants. And in this video, I want to give away a free blockchain app idea that could easily net $1 million in profit or more and break down what you need to do to create this. So I'm going to talk about all this today as a blockchain developer myself who's built multiple businesses and works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish and level up the skills that you need to create an application just like this, then make sure you head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash food camp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this million dollar blockchain application idea that I'm just gonna give away 100% for free. So uh, there's going to be lots of people who click on this video that instantly have the objection of like, oh, if this is such a great idea, why wouldn't you just do it? Well, there's a really great book out there called The Millionaire Fast Lane, where the author, MJ DeMarco, has a line that says, you know, ideas are pawns, but execution is king. You know, I personally have too many ideas to take action on. I've got a dozen or more ideas just like this sitting in the hopper. And if you watched any of my past videos and know anything about me, you've seen that I started multiple businesses and this will not be my first idea that's made over a million dollars. And that's why I'm willing to give it away to you for free. And even if you don't plan on pursuing a career entrepreneurship and scaling an app to seven figures and beyond, this is still a great application that you could use for your portfolio. All right, so let's talk about the application itself. And one of the reasons I like this application the most is because you're not going to be in this gray area with the SEC creating some type of token or financial product that comes under great scrutiny. It has nothing to do with DeFi. And so what is it? Well, let's talk about the problem that it solves. So about a month ago, I made a video talking about this on my channel, but I'll make this dedicated video to flesh out this idea a lot more. So ever since the rise of artificial intelligence technology in the past year or so, we're starting to see some major problems hit the internet, which is the authenticity for published media. I showed several different examples of really notable figures out there with published media, making them say things they didn't say, whether that was a podcast or a video of them actually saying it, or even just an image of them doing something they didn't do. Yeah, this is just one example of a fictitious podcast interview with Joe Rogan and Donald Trump, where they basically just had an AI learn about Joe Rogan's voice and also Donald Trump's voice, and they wrote a script about them talking with one another. And while it's really crazy what this technology can do, this presents some obvious problems. Like, what if you could get, you know, a highly influential person to say or do something online with an AI that they never said or did? If this person's very powerful, at worst, you could incite nuclear violence, you could sway the outcome of an election, and so much more. But the good news is that we can use blockchains to help this problem by proving the authenticity of media whenever stuff is published on Web 2.0 platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. And so basically what the application does is going to give you a certification that you actually publish media on whatever platform it goes on. It's sort of like going to the grocery store if you're in the United States and you look at a package that says, you know, USDA organic certified. It's basically like a little trust badge on that media that proves that the original poster is who they said they were and that it's not just completely fake. Or said another way, it's sort of like a universal blue check mark for any media that's published on any platform. And so why is this a big deal? Well, it's because you see so many clips of people saying things or interviewing or whatever that are published on different social media platforms than the people who published it. So for example, you might see an interview with somebody like Donald Trump or Joe Biden or whoever that can be published on some different social platform other than one that they own. And you have no idea whether that thing's 100% fake or not. And it does this by essentially taking the media, regardless of whatever platform it's publishing on and using the blockchain as a central source for authenticity for that media wherever it lives. All right, so how would this work from a high level so that you can see you know, why it provides value and then also how you could implement this yourself, whether you're trying to turn this into a real legit business or whether you're just trying to create it for a portfolio product or something like that. So essentially what you do is you take the media and you first put it on chain to where you can always look back to see a reference of that media on chain. And then you take the authenticity of that media and actually embed it into the media itself to where it could be referenced back to on chain to see if the original publisher actually published that before it went out on various social media platforms, maybe outside of their own account. So essentially what that would look like is you would start off with having a creator who has a digital wallet of some kind that has a public key and a private key, okay? And this is where the authenticity comes into play. 
This is sort of where the universal blue check mark comes in. Essentially, you want to have one wallet, whether this is an externally owned wallet, like a MetaMask wallet, for example, or a hardware wallet, or a multi-signature wallet where lots of people have to sign off on a transaction before it happens that represents the publisher itself. So let's say it's the you know president of the United States, that essentially you're going to have one address that represents that person's you know digital identity. Of course, it's not going to be everything like their driver's license or social security. It's just their publishing identity. And any media that is linked to that person's identity will be considered, you know, valid. And it doesn't just have to be images or videos or audio clips of that person. It could just be any media that they want to say, here's my digital signature that I approve this message. Then you can create a profile with that digital wallet where anytime you want to go validate the presence of their media, you could put a link to it in your profile, you could have it on your website, whatever, where anybody can go see a record of everything you've ever published on chain. And if you see, you know, a post out there that's in question, you can always look back at the source of that on the blockchain itself to determine its authenticity. And I'll show you how it in a second. So anyways, once you have the creator's uh, key pair, you know, public key and a private key, then you're going to have some type of publishing contract on the blockchain, which essentially just lets people, you know, create a transaction wherever they've uploaded their media to store it to where you can easily see a record of everything that they've ever posted. Okay. So where does the media itself go? Well, there's a few different solutions that you could use, but probably one of the easiest ones to get started with is the IPFS file storage system. So interplanetary file system. This is really common for NFTs. Basically, it's just a distributed file system. It works kind of like a blockchain. It's not really a blockchain. It's just a peer-to-peer -peer network of nodes that all talk to one another where you can store files in a redundant fashion. And then you get a hash of that file and that represents its location. And the file can never be tampered with. It can never be changed. So once you know it's on there, it's there forever. And therefore, it's safe to put a reference to that hash back on the blockchain. So basically what happens is the creator uploads their their media to IPFS along with some metadata, maybe some JSON with about the metadata, kind of like a non-fungible token. In fact, you could probably turn this entire thing into NFT-based publishing. And then once you've got the metadata, you put the actual media on there, whether that's an image, whether it's an audio file, it's an MP3, and then you get a hash back of that location on IPFS, and then you store it straight to the blockchain inside of this publishing smart contract. And then once you've got this publishing smart contract, you can write it to the blockchain so that you can see every single transaction that's come from this you know, universal blue check mark identity. Okay, so that you can see at any given time, here's a transaction where this person put this on chain to say, I authorize this message. And then you could easily see a history of everything that they've ever put out at any time. Okay, so you could always go back and try to validate did this person do this on the blockchain before his social media? And is this therefore an authorized piece of publishing? And so that would honestly just be the minimum viable product, but you could do a lot more beyond that. So for example, you could actually go put badges in the media, kind of like I talked about before, with this, you know, sort of universal blue check mark or this sort of USDA organic badge that you would put on your media. And so how would you do that? Well, a really dead simple way would essentially just be using QR codes, okay? So you might have seen these floating around on, you know, different places where you can just scan your phone and it instantly put points to a link. Well, you could have that link be to the publishing record on the blockchain itself, just the transaction that went through on a website like Etherscan that shows that, in fact, this media came from this wallet. And what's cool about this is you don't have to always have this crazy, ugly, like, you know, QR code on all of your media. You can do things like audio QR codes where you could basically do this for a podcast. You could do it for a video where there's not always some type of visual disruption. Or you could simply put a brief QR code on something for like a split second in a video. You can also make them really small where they're barely noticeable. And you can even do things like encode the QR codes in an image or something like that where it's not totally visible to the user. As to taking this step further, you could create a web application that accomplishes a few purposes. One is you can create some type of profile page Page so that you can sort of see this person's digital identity and all the media they've ever published really easily on a website so that someone has to have to go to like Etherscan and just look at all the transactions they've created. Something more user-friendly, okay? Now, this does introduce certain layer of trust that you have to trust that the website is showing you the correct information, okay? But you have this, you know, added benefit of transparency where an advanced user can always look at the blockchain to see whether that's valid information or not, Okay. But, you know, you can easily have a profile. It's like, hey, here's the publisher. Here's their social media profile. And then here's all the stuff they've ever published on chain. OK, now there's a step beyond this where you could turn this into a full service publishing platform. Like, you know, if you ever seen something like Buffer or Hootsuite or something like that, where people schedule out all their posts ahead of time, you can implement a very similar type of thing where at the time of publishing, there's a digital signature that happens that writes the media to chain, okay, before it actually goes out on social media itself. It can streamline the workflow of putting that information on the blockchain. And then once it's on the blockchain, 
publish directly to any social media platform that you want to like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or Spotify. All right, that's an overview of how the application will work that you can realistically create. But how would you actually make money off this? And how could you realistically scale this to a seven figure application and profit and way beyond? Well, first of all, you know, some people might say, why would anybody pay for this in the first place? Why would anybody pay to publish media? Well, you have to understand that anybody who values the authenticity of their own content would definitely pay money for this, especially if they have a large audience and large scale influence. And there's lots of people out there like this. And so you just charge for that value and you could do it in a few different ways, okay? Number one is you could do it in a very crypto web 3.0 way where you have the publishing contract that I talked about before, where you're essentially charging a fee to use that contract on a per transaction basis. Now, that may not be the best way to monetize this application initially. Okay, the best way might be to monetize it more of a web 2.0 software as a service model where people are basically charging a monthly fee to use the web application that you put up for streamlined publishing. And then they just get the benefit of doing all this stuff on chain once they've you know hooked up their crypto wallet to authenticate the media. And so what's the math look like that on turning this into a seven figure operation? Well, it's not uncommon for people to play, pay you know $100 a month for publishing platforms, especially if they're like an enterprise customer. So let's just say it's $99. If you got to a thousand users, which I'm not saying is like dead simple to do, but it's very possible. If you got to a thousand users at $99 a month, as $99,000 a month, which is pretty close to $1.2 million per year. And this is not an incredibly expensive application to create, and that can easily result in a million dollars in profit. And the other big benefit in this, in terms of software as a service, is that this would have very low churn. So if you're familiar with software as a service businesses at all, churn is one of the biggest things that can make or break a software business when people are paying on a monthly basis. And if someone's relying upon your authenticity service and you have all that legacy and transaction history, then the switching costs can be pretty high, which make it very likely that you could maintain a customer for a very long time to increase their lifetime value and scale well past seven figures in revenue. All right, so that's an overview of this free app idea that could turn into a million dollar blockchain app idea and could even turn into a massive web 3.0 giant. I think the potential is definitely there because we're just at the beginning of artificial intelligence in our world today. We're just starting to see the effects of this and we need something to counteract all the bad things that could happen, particularly on social media and blockchain could be a very good answer to this and this could satisfy a big need. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so we can learn about blockchain. And if you want the skills to pull off something just like I'm talking about in this video, then I can show you the fastest way to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Inside, I'll show you everything that you need to become a highly paid blockchain developer. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've had people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And the next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.